All right, here comes a cross screen right here. So this Grizzlies player needs to do a much better job of jamming Nikola Jokic. You have to legitimately knock him off his spot so Steven Adams can get on the other side. Look at that. I mean, you're lightly touching him. You're not moving him at all. So now Steven Adams isn't on the other side. That draws help, and it's going to lead to an eventual easy Nuggets 2. What is Steven Adams doing here? You are guarding Nikola Jokic. How do you fall asleep on the two-time MVP? <coughs> what? You have to communicate and transition. You can't have two Grizzlies guarding Jokic, obviously. Okay, Steven Adams didn't get back in time. So Dylan Brooks just has to take Jokic. Steven Adams has to go here. You get cross-matched. It happens. When you start worrying about matchups and transition, you get stuck with clusters like that. And now the, Nuggets are, the Grizzlies' defense is never able to get set, and it leads to an easy Nuggets too. So John Morant's going to get stuck on Aaron Gordon in the post. That's obviously a mismatch. So if you are John Morant, this player can dig in the post. This player can dig or help. Okay, all those options are on the table, but you've got to keep Aaron Gordon towards the middle of the floor where the teeth of your defense is. You let him go this way, the help's not coming till the rim. And that's way too late, and Aaron Gordon's just going to get it, and it's going to be an easy two. Okay, if you are Steven Adams right here, you've got to be calling out that your man, Yo Nikola Jokic, is setting a flare screen. you got to be yelling out, flare, 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 so this player knows to get up and over the top. He can't get hit with this screen. You have to have backside help on Nikola Jokic. So get up and hedge, because now this backside defender can get here on Jokic's roll. If the skip pass is made, I have plenty of air time on that pass to recover. But you're just letting Nikola, look at this, Steven Adams has to drop towards the ball. So now Nikola Jokic can just roam freely. And now, but look at, you're, now you're guarding him, he's already in the paint. It's way too late at that point. Not switch a ball screen like this. You have to be level to the screener right now so you're ready to guard Bones Highland when he comes off this screen. You are not. Communicate in transition. This player here has got to say, I've got this Nuggets player here. So this uh, Grizzlies player knows to come guard the ball, and this player can go here. When you don't communicate in transition, this is what happens every time. Okay, so the Grizzlies just clearly aren't good at transition defense. John Morant has to say, I've got this player here. Communicate. So this player now knows to come here and guard the ball. Instead, you don't communicate, so two people guard one and nobody takes the ball. Cannot go under a screen when there's this much space to go over. You've got to go over here, okay? If you're going under, look at how far under you're going to have to go from the ball handler. So, I mean, of course you're giving up an open three. Okay, so if you're Ja Morant right here and this pass gets made, let's play that out, okay? When And your man cuts. Stop. As your man cuts this way, you've got to keep your back to the baseline and go with him that way. When you turn your back to the sideline like this, okay, this is how exactly how you get beat back door. If you are Jaron Jackson, there is no such thing as jogging back in transition. You have to sprint back. Now, we lose sight of Jaron Jackson, but I'm 100% sure that he was jogging back because now this is the next glimpse we see of him. If you sprint back, Aaron Gordon's not ahead of you like that. Stop defending away from the ball with your back to the sideline. You are begging to get beat back door. Get underneath your man with your back to the baseline. Then you can see the ball and your man as opposed to here where you're only seeing your man. So you know what happens next. More disastrous transition by the Grizzlies. This player has to sprint back. There is no such thing as jogging back in transition. This player cannot be getting back to the middle of the floor. He's got to be getting... Now, it doesn't matter because this player right here ends up jogging, but this player needs to be sprinting towards this Nuggets trailer here. But look, this Grizzlies player jogs. This Grizzlies player is getting back to the middle of the floor, which is no man's land, and that's what you end up with. This is an absolutely pathetic hedge by Ja Morant. You've got to cut Nikola Jokic's dribble off if you hedge. If you let him turn, I mean, look at this hedge. I mean, this isn't even really an attempt at one, but if you let Jokic turn the corner here, you're screwed. And that's what happens. Okay, the Grizzlies have an interesting strategy here of guarding this ball screen. They, they do nothing. I mean, Steven Adams, I, you know I hate drop coverage, but at least attempt to be in it if you are, or hedge, or switch. Uh, not defending this ball screen at all is, is an interesting strategy. 
Cannot go under a screen. Look at the amount of space you have to go over. So if you're going under this screen, you're going way too far under. Look at how far under you're going. You're not even picking this player up until he's in the paint. So now that draws a double team, of course, and you're done. Okay, a strong side ISO like this is so simple to double. You should just be doing it anyways. This player needs to drop down. Okay, this player gets up the line a, a really good amount. Okay, so now when this player comes this way and the ball gets kicked here, you're rotating up here. Okay, then this player rotates to the corner, this player here, and the man that doubles just falls down here. But you're again, you're leaving this player one-on-one -on, -one on an island for no reason whatsoever. Doubling Jokic in the post is great, okay? But you gotta rotate. This player's gotta take out the cutter here, okay? This player gets up the line, goes here, 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 okay? But you don't even get the first rotation right. If you are Jaron Jackson, you have got to just keep battling with Jokic in the post. You're doing a fine job. He's outside the paint. Keep battling for real estate. You cannot front the post like this because look what happens. Now Aaron Gordon comes to the free throw line, and now this player is in an impossible spot. Does he stay here so this entry pass can't get made? So now Contavious called well Pope's wide open in the corner. Uh, does he do the opposite and go to the corner and allow this entry pass to get made for an easy two? I mean, you're giving up points either way. Wow, is the Grizzlies' transition defense an embarrassment to basketball. This player cannot be standing in the middle of nowhere. You get to bodies in transition, okay? When someone is guarding nobody in transition, that means you're leaving someone. My God. Not guard away from the ball like this. Number one, look at this player's feet. They're too close together. You need to have, you need to have your feet out wide in a defensive stance. Uh, number two is when this pass gets made, you actually have to start going to the corner. Look at this. This pass is made. This player, this player just takes a step forward as the ball's in the player's hands. So now it's an Aaron Gordon pump and go drive for a dunk. It's fine to pick up full court and go for steals, but not ones that you have no chance of. Okay, look at this right here. You have no chance at that steal. So poof. Now the Nuggets have numbers just off of that. Okay, dribble handoff right here. Stop. This is not how you guard a dribble handoff. This player has to take a half step back and let this player through underneath. You can't go over the top of a dribble handoff or it's going to turn into a screen.